Hello drone pilots, my name's Paul Tace. In this video we're going to be looking at all the rumours around the Mavic 3. Um, we know it's going to be coming out now on the 5th of November and um, we've got some idea of the specs that it's going to have. So um, let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to point out is most of this information has come from Jasper Ellens on Twitter and it's filtered down to loads of different places and um, there's things that are reoccurring that are coming up and there's things that we um, don't quite match up yet. So what I'm going to do is go over the things that we know and then slowly filter down to the things that we're not too sure about. Now the biggest question that I get asked is, is this going to have a C-Class label on? And uh, the answer to that is looking like it's a no. Mm. Um, if you go to Geeks Varna, they've got loads of videos on C-Labeling now, I really recommend heading over there and taking a look. But it would appear that um, we don't have the organisation between the CAA and DJI to actually allow them to put C-Labels on drones yet. So um, the facility is not there for them to be able to do it. So it's looking like there is no way there is going to be a C-Class label on the uh, DJI Mavic 3. A lot of people are speaking about putting it on there retrospectively. Um, across Europe this may be possible. In the UK with the CAA they have said they're not going to allow this to happen. However this is under review so uh, it's looking unlikely but it is still possible. Okay now for me if we're looking at this drone the most important thing after probably the legality of it, is the sensor. Now I've got mixed, um, I found mixed reviews on what the people think the sensor is going to be. Um, some people are saying it's going to be a half inch and I've seen some people say it's going to be uh, four thirds. Um, I personally would expect it to be more than an inch sensor, otherwise there's not much difference going to be between that and uh, the Mavic Air 2S and also the Mavic 2. So uh, you would certainly expect at least an inch sensor. And it looks like it's going to have two cameras on there, a wide angle camera of about 35mm and also a telephoto one. So it may possibly have two sensors, although I'd imagine it would have one, and I would imagine that, that sensor would be uh, at least an inch sensor. Um, certainly, you may expect it to be bigger, although it would be hard to get the full potential of a larger sensor, just for the fact that um, it's, it's easy to overheat, there's going to be a lot of electronics inside. So it would be interesting to see uh, why they would put a larger sensor in there. Perhaps it's just purely um, for um, night shooting to get the most out of it, and to reduce the noise. And I'd expect the sensor to be at least 10 bit because this is going to be a professional level drone and anything less than that just wouldn't fit. Now the camera lenses, we're also going to be expecting to have a, a, an adjustable aperture, a mechanical one, you would hope for, uh, particularly on uh, the wide angle. However, it's looking like the uh, telephoto lens may only have uh, an electronic shutter. Uh, now this is um, something that I also wanted to highlight because before you had to choose whether you wanted the, uh, the Mavic 2 zoom, which obviously allowed you to zoom in and get in closer, whereas uh, on the Mavic 2 we just had a larger sensor so you had to compromise between having the zoom or the quality, where it's looking like the uh, Mavic 3, you're going to have both of these on there. The other thing that is fairly certain about the Mavic 3 is that there's going to be two versions. We're going to have um, one version, which is going to be um, basically just a drone by itself and one with a fly more combo. And then we're also going to have the cinematic version. Now the cinematic version is rumoured to have uh, um, a smart remote coming out. And again, this is pretty certain we can see from the labelling that it will have a smart remote coming out with it. And it's looking like this is going to be able to transmit HD video uh, straight to the controller in real time, which is obviously going to be a huge benefit if you are um, videoing for cinematic purposes. Now looking at the battery, we know for sure we are going to have a 5000 milliamp hour battery and it's expected and everywhere I've looked um, it's going to have a 46 minute flight time which is exactly what we would expect. Now this is a huge flight time, don't get me wrong. Um, this is going to outperform all the drones that are there at the moment and it's something that's going to be really cool to have in a professional drone and this will be a professional level drone. So um, the other thing about the battery is it looks like it's going to go inside on the back of the drone um, rather than on top um, like some of the other drones. So it's more of um, a mini style perhaps or a mini two style um, than the previous Mavic 2. Now I don't want to um, touch too much on pricing because wherever I've looked it's uh, been considerably different but I've heard people quoting anywhere from uh, $1,600 for um, the basic version of the drone by itself, all the way up to $3,000 or $3,500, dollars $4,000 for the uh, cinematic version. So there's quite a considerable difference in prices and I really have no idea uh, what sort of price range it's going to come out at. I would certainly expect nothing less than $1,600. 
Now I've had a few people ask whether this is going to be compatible with the um, FPV goggles. Um, at the moment I believe that's unlikely. However, if we are transmitting a high definition video to a smart remote, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to do the same to some goggles. So um, it's still something I wouldn't be sure about and hopefully it'd be nice to see um, a, like a cinematic drone that we could fly with goggles. That would be pretty awesome. Now for me personally, um, I would love to get this drone and I would love to review it, but I've got a feeling this is going to be at my price range. Um, I'm still a very small channel and I don't turn over anywhere near enough uh, <laughs> to be able to afford this drone. So hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button is going to help boost me. Hopefully, eventually, I'll be able to get enough money to review the drones as they're coming out. So um, that's it for this video, guys, and I hope to see you in the next one.